Hi guys, Jurassic Junkie here, and I'm worried that my neighbours are actually watching me. Welcome to the Friday Night Rant. So yes, I'm actually very conscious that for some reason I cannot get the lighting correct in this room today and I've had to open the window and now I can see out to all my neighbours and I'm worried that some of them are going to be looking in seeing a man just keep doing this with his arms in front of a camera. So I hope you're all well and before we start, I have got a sponsored by a drink. So a lot of people have been saying why don't you just do a juice uh, video and just tell us what you've been drinking and stuff like that. So this is the one Joe's made this morning and it goes by the name of Melon Berra. So a very creative name there and there's a clue what's in it. But there's also some apples and stuff like that, so let's give it a taste. And that is just absolutely fantastic. It's gorgeous. So, let's jump straight in then with some Nintendo news. So as we know, the Wii U is not doing incredibly great and coming up to March now, so that's going to be the financial year end for companies and it looks like Nintendo is going to be losing 250 million. So this is actually going to be a loss due to the actual Wii U. Obviously 3DS is incredibly good, but that means a lot of people are turning around and simply saying to Nintendo, what is your plans? So A.O. Waters turned around and says that are actually open to the ideas of acquisition or mergers. Now straight away that means people was going, oh my god, that, that means Nintendo's going to sell out and company's going to buy it out and all this lot. And straight away I just want to point out that he just says they're open to the ideas. It simply means that they're not going to rule it out, out, but they're not going to go for it at the same time. But what could this mean? This might mean that we're going to be seeing some of their IPs perhaps get pushed out to other consoles. And if we could see something like Mario Kart come to the actual uh, PlayStation or come to Xbox, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. But at the same time, it obviously does damage themselves because if people aren't buying the Wii U now, why would they buy it if the games come out to the other consoles? So it's a quite curious one exactly what this is going to mean. But at the same time, we've now got rumours that Nintendo may be entering the mobile market. Nintendo did turn around and says, no, we're not. But at the same time, they did turn around at once and said, we're not going to do a Wii U price drop and then instantly did a Wii U price drop. So again, take that with a pinch of salt. So I'm not quite sure what Nintendo plans are, but I'm curious. I want to see where they're going to go. And also I'm intrigued to see if they actually are going to attack the mobile market because the thing is they haven't actually got to put any hardware out to actually attack the mobile market. It is a big market, but does that kind of damage the name by actually going into it? So we shall see. So the next thing I want to talk about is something that's absolutely pissed me off. Now we all know any news tabloid outlet things are just full of it anyway. So the story that I want to talk about is Daily Mail has reported that a 13 year old boy has raped his 8 year old sister. Now obviously straight away this is horrible news but the thing is the reason apparently behind the actual child doing this act was simply because he had actually watched porn. Now after watching this porn he decided that he actually wanted to act it out and see what it felt like and we won't go into any more of the graphic details but the point is that's as far as it should have got. But the child actually used an Xbox One to access the porn. So the media took a spin saying the Xbox One gave this child porn which caused him to act like this to his sister, which is absolutely ludicrous. The things that annoy me is when you get a PC, which is the majority way of act people access porn, there isn't any family locks as such really on them. You can add extra things into your Chrome browser or you can install programs so children can't go onto adult websites. But on the actual consoles, the 3DS, the Wii U, the PlayStation, the Xbox, all of them have family parental locks that you can go in and say, don't access media, you cannot go on the internet, you cannot do this, and you can lock it down. So console providers give these tools to parents, but yet they get condemned if a parent doesn't activate these tools and their child goes off and does something wrong. And the thing that annoyed me more than anything, they've spoke to Microsoft and asked for what their opinion is. And their response was, we have the greatest sympathy to all involved in this case. Which is a fair enough, Microsoft just brush it off kind of thing. And that's the way they should have done it because they don't need to go into that. Microsoft did not cause this crime to happen. And it pisses me off that media is like, yes, we're going to involve the word Microsoft and Xbox because that's what it was accessed on. So when we actually see in the news that some person has hacked a corporation or took down a government website, they don't turn around and says, that was done on a Dell laptop. Dell, what's your thoughts on this person using your equipment to hack the government? At the same time, if there is a murder and someone's dead on the floor beside a Nokia phone, they don't contact Nokia and say, what's your thoughts of your phone being beside a dead body? So why does it matter when it's consoles? It's just because tabloids love to spin utter, utter bullshit as much as they can. So the thing I want to say really is obviously what this child did is horrible and we don't need to go into why that is horrible, it's obvious. But the thing is, this child is intentionally going out to look for pornographer. So even if his console was tied down and Microsoft or even Microsoft 
forced no Internet Explorer on there whatsoever, the child have found it elsewhere. You can get this kind of material on your consoles, on your mobiles, on your tablets, on your PCs. For Christ's sakes, fridges now have internet connections. Anything with internet connection has access to that material. So at the end of the day, you haven't got to blame the device that's enabled the person to look at this material. You need to question, why is that person doing it? Or if they're not of an age, why is somebody not protecting them from it? Because it's very easy to access this material nowadays. So rant over with that one because, yeah, it just uh, absolutely annoyed me because the thing is, there's two things at play. This child... I would have guessed is mentally unstable already for thinking this is an okay act to try out on his sister. But at the same time, who's to blame? Is it pornography being easy to access? Is the parents not watching the children? But no, they went straight for the hardware manufacturer. So the next thing I want to talk about is Amazon. Now this is something I wanted to talk about previous weeks back and I kind of just brushed it under because I thought, well, there's not much information. And again, there's still not much information, but I want to talk a little bit about it. So the rumours are Amazon are looking to enter the console market. The rumours are pointing that it might even be as early as 2014. Now at the start of the rumours when they come out they were saying it's going to be an Android based console and I was like, oh, I don't know if that will actually work. We've seen it happen many times and not actually been quite successful. And that's as much information was out there so that's why I thought I'm not going to talk about it. But things get interesting this week to find out that Amazon have actually purchased a development company by the name of Double Helix. Now for anyone that doesn't know, the title that created was in fact Killer Instinct. And Killer Instinct is about the only Xbox One game that I haven't actually really got into. I think it's because I just suck at it, but I've never been great at fighters anyway. But anyway, back on target, they've actually purchased these developers. And not only did they purchase the talent of this company, they've also accessed their IP. So this is quite interesting then, so Amazon's starting to actually get into the game inside of things. So if they're launching their console, what is it going to be? Is it going to be Android based or are they actually going to turn around and go, we're going to make our own particular flavour with our own kind of games and exclusives? And it will be very interesting to see because the other rumour is that it's going to have a way to stream television. So it kind of does everything that the consoles do today. But obviously the question is, what kind of power does this console have? So at the moment it's all very grey area, we don't know much information, but I definitely want to know about it because if it's going to be Android, I think it's better to go Android because then you've got a massive access of games that already exist, but at the same time, previous people that have done it on Android haven't been very successful. So you could go with your own flavour and say these games only work on our console, but that means you will have a minuscule library unless you're actually going to buy up a load more developers. So very interesting and we'll see how that pans out over the next few months. So the last few pieces of information I just want to whip through, and that is, first of all, Kingdom Come. Spoke about it last week, a great game that's actually on Kickstarter. They asked for £300,000, they've already doubled that and they've got two weeks left to go. And personally, I wasn't that interested in supporting them, mainly because I don't actually play that much PC anymore. But this week they've actually turned around and says if you actually back us, you'll also get a Xbox One digital license. So that means when the game comes out, you'll get it for free on the Xbox One digitally. And that instantly made me go, sold, because I never really see console ports on Kickstarter. Some of them say we might bring it out later, but it will be physical disc and stuff like that. But either way, it's great because they're actually saying, back us and you will get the game on your console. Now, as of the moment, there's no word of an actual digital PlayStation 4 version, but you can get a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One physical version. So if you did check out that trailer last week and you are interested in this game, but you are a console user, now is your time to back it because you will be able to get this game for free and probably a lot cheaper than when it will actually come out at retail. But I will warn you, you may be looking to the end of 2015, maybe start of 2016 until this actual game comes to light. But it's an investment. So last three pieces. First of all, Titanfall has now got a delay, but it is only for the Xbox 360. EA's come out and says they're actually just polishing it off, so they just knocked it back for two weeks which means here in Europe it's going to be looking at a date of March the 28th instead of March the 11th. The Xbox One is still on target, so I actually say, yes, you delay it by two weeks. We've said this a million times. If something needs polishing and you can make it better, delay it. But I am kind of glad, I know it's selfish, that there isn't any delays on the Xbox One version because, oh my God, I will lose my life when that game comes out and I can only apologise straight away. There probably will be no Friday night rants for two weeks or so because goodbye life when that game comes out. Next up is Xbox One's going to be doing a dashboard update which is coming out on the 11th of this month which is going to target the actual battery issue so we'll actually be able to tell when the battery's going to die. It's also going to add notifications, give us keyboard support and also allow us to control the actual hard drive space. So they're the major things that I said wanting fixed. 
The only other thing they haven't actually tackled yet is the party system. But Microsoft have come out and said there's also going to be another update in March which will tackle the party system ready in line for the actual Titanfall. And now to the last thing which is Tropico. Now Tropico has been an exclusive to Microsoft, so it's actually been on Microsoft Windows, but it's also been on Microsoft Xboxes, and it's never actually shown its light over at Sony. And Tropico is one of them games that doesn't get enough love, and I absolutely love them, and I've been really looking forward to Tropico 5 to show its face. And this week has actually come out that it's also coming to PlayStation. So I want to say to anyone that owns a PlayStation, when Tropico comes out, you've probably not played one before, you might not have heard of it because it's not a big game, Definitely check it out. Spend some time to actually look at some videos because it's a great simulator game combined with absolutely beautiful humour and also gorgeous maps and landscapes. So yes, the people over at PlayStation now will be able to enjoy the joys of Tropico. So that brings us to the end of the Friday Night Rant, so I'm going to leave you with the question of the week, and that is, do you think that Nintendo should enter the mobile market? Would you like to see a Mario game on your actual mobile device, or do you think it would damage them and you don't want to see that? So I want to apologise straight away if it actually feels like a rush this video. I have got a ridiculous amount of workload to do today, especially because on the actual playboxy.com tomorrow we're going to be launching the Wii U compatible version of the website. So I'm just getting through getting that all coded and ready to go. On top of that, I'm actually going to shoot off to the gym in a few hours. But when I get back tonight, around about 9 o'clock or so, I may be doing one of my very first live streams on Twitch. So we'll be playing on the PlayStation 4 and I'll be playing Outlast Super Scary <laughs> Pants Game. Now I am not a big fan of scary games at all, um, I tend to play about 10 minutes of it and bottle it, but I've decided that I want to kind of push through and actually do Outlast. It's free this month on PlayStation Plus, so I definitely want to jump on and utilise it, but at the same time my niece is coming up tonight and she kind of will egg me on, so I thought, well, sod it, I'm going to do a live stream. So if you're interested in actually hearing me <laughs> my pants on camera while playing Outlast, then check me out on Facebook and Twitter, because when I actually know exact time I'm going to start broadcasting it tonight, I will put it straight on Twitter and Facebook so you know when to access the stream. Now I'm 99% sure I will be doing this tonight. If I'm not, then I'll put another date for it, but I'm pretty damn certain as soon as I come out of the shower, I'm going to go downstairs and just fill my pants. Right, so that's me done guys. I'm going to get this edited, get some programming done, get to the gym and then go crap my pants on Twitch for your entertainment. So as always guys, I hope you have a great weekend and thank you very much for watching. Cheers guys, bye.